Hey everybody, so I'm gonna be playing a little bit of Kale in the mid lane, and I am against the Zyra. It'll be, I don't know, it'll be a frustrating lane, lanes one through one through five. Once they hit six, it's a little bit more manageable. But our goal is to just um, make it to late game, get our Ramana. I did not mean to take Ignite. I forgot to swap summoner spells, by the way, because um, I was switching my runes around and then. I was like, oh, forgot to swap summoner spells. But it's okay. Um, we'll make it work. I was actually going to try and be Yasuo, except, like, they banned him, of course. But I banned Master Yi, so at least we don't have that going on against us. Uh, not that Kale's really bad. Well, actually, Jinx is AFK, so it might just be a remake anyway. But in the event that it's not. Would that my path be true? Yeah, I think it's probably going to be a remake. Jinx isn't here yet. <laughs> okay, interesting. That's a little too much information. Yeah, but we are going to get um, Muramana. I think it's a pretty staple for most AD Kale builds, honestly. And it's not bad. As an oh, that's right. I'm considered melee for the first three three levels, so I insta kill Zyra plants. I could have also played I could have also played Irelia, now that I think about it, but like yeah this is fine. Zyra's like not abusing the fact that I'm not ranged right now, so I'm fine with it. She probably took Snare second. I mean, I don't know what Zyra wouldn't, but, you know, we just have to assume that she did. I mean, I do have a ranged ability, however, so that's, that's kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, like, yay for Kale being melee. Means I get to insta. I didn't even think about that when I was when I was picking Kale. I was just like, oh, we need someone who can scale in the late game, really, and someone who can build either AD or AP. But I mean, we have a Lux Fiddle. That's already like a lot of AP, so I don't really necessarily want to build AP. And we'll actually let Zyra just push lane. I took Fleet because it's like more sustain, and since you are in melee. Me since you are melee in levels 1 through 6, it works out greatly. She was she thought she was being cheeky. Plus there's always the chance I might actually get a Storm Razor. I remember when Storm Razor Kale used to like just be the Kale build. Uh, I thought maybe she'd keep she'd step back up. That's okay. I mean, if she's not gonna make my lane like lane one through, if she's not gonna make lane one through, um, I'm here. I'm just gonna back up. Really think we could have killed there. Well, it's whatever. Um, Nocturne Blue Flash, I had to blow Flash, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. I didn't die. That's what's important. Yeah, I was gonna say let's get the let's get the obvious Q harass. Honestly, it's kind of this is like playing it out like a Trinomere mid almost, where you have fleet. Obviously, you don't heal as much as Trinomere mid, but it's fine, honestly. 
Because I'm Kale, I actually scale better late game than a Trindamir would anyway, so. And she's almost out of mana, so she cannot harass me for much longer. I was hoping that was. Hi, I see you, Nocturne. First blood, and then we also got a kill in bot lane, so that's pretty good. I mean, obviously Nocturne wants to try and like prevent Kale from be becoming Kale. It's definitely something that he doesn't want happening. But I think it's going to happen anyway. Oh, interesting. I don't think I get that one. Unfortunate. Okay, so the hard part of the lane is over, pretty much. Go ahead and shove this. I mean, honestly, yeah, the hardest part of lane is over. And I know Gunblade is the usual build now, but since I am going more than likely AD KL, I want the Muramana. Complement my AD. I did take Gathering Storm, by the way, so that's like that's useful. I took up my mother's sword and risked her purpose. I am now a ranged champion, so. Ah, got the hit. Yeah, I mean, Syra, like, really kind of screwed the slain over for her because, like, she could have been um, further ahead if she had just abused the fact that I am melee until level 6. But since she didn't, I mean, I'm not going to complain for sure. Her plants really don't do that much damage right now. I don't know what she's trying to build. Roa, maybe? Maybe she's trying to build Rod of Ages? I don't know how she thinks that's going to help her, though. I'm just going to walk over this. Wukong is uh, being an overpowered champion, which is nice. I just got one more. Nice. Thanks for giving me my last stack. Yeah, I mean, normally I would say... Oh, I need to go attempt to help Fiddle. I think he's fine. He's fine. I'm gonna back up out of that. Oh, she's so low too. Nice. I get the assist. Nice. <laughs> I just realized Nocturne was not even level six yet. That's not gonna kill me, but I do need to back up.
Well, I have my fur full mana mune. So we're set there. I like that Wukong has, uh, was coming to cover lane since he obviously couldn't do much against Nasus at the time. A clean cut divides darkness and but yeah, now we got this. Now we can build actually kind of whatever we want. I'm thinking a death dance, honestly. Oh, that was definitely a flash. Only the innocent will be spared. Six seconds is just such a long time, dude. Oh, that was top lane. I thought that was bot. I will defend this ward. Zyra's range is annoying a little bit, though, still. Because, I mean, I obviously only have, you know, 525 range. You can only do so much with it. Oh, well, two more levels and I get even better. So that's... It's actually really good. Ha, ah, I got the caddy. Oh, Nasus is running Spellbook. I've been seeing that a lot on Nasus's lately. I almost have my ulti again, so... Okay. Morgana's just here. How curious. Look at this. Okay. Nice. There was... Okay, there was so much. I'll get an assist out of that just because I'll heal someone. I think maybe I'll get an assist out of this one. I'm, I'm doing the cutoff. Nice. Give that to Jinx for sure. We're all doing kind of well, actually, so I don't know. I hope they don't forfeit. I'd like to be able to build more AD Kale than I have built already. Alright. I'll get a turret plating at least. Maybe two, actually. No, Zyra's back. Oh, that hit her. <laughs> I always forget that if you hit... The Q extends a little bit. Well, I got one turret playing, which is more than she even came close to getting, so. Like, see? It's just an extension. What's my farm looking at? 91? That's not bad. I mean, it could be better, but not bad. Actually, Death Dance does sound kind of nice. Yeah, this is where if I had teleported, it'd be a lot better. Can't see anything, but I'm fine. Oh yeah, I'm super fine. She just wasted ult. And I didn't have to use mine at all. Hmm. Mm, I'm taking a lot of damage.
Easy. <laughs> the flash ignite. I didn't even actually auto her. I just literally flash ignited and was like, okay. Oh, I gotta run. Nocturne just won't let me push and take my lead even further. That's fine. Let's get a Death Stance. I also like Trinity Force as well. On builds like this. On a, like AD KL build, but I don't really need the extra burst. The healing right now is more what I need. I already have kind of a lot of burst. I'm gonna go ahead and Oh my gosh. I hate that. Why is Nocturne Why is Nocturne even near mid? I don't get it. That's unfortunate. I'm tempted to get Rage Blade, but but I don't know, actually. Because the other thing is, is I don't really need Rage Blade in this AD build necessarily. I already have kind of all the damage I need with Manamune. I actually maybe should have just fought Nocturne instead of trying to run. Like I think probably that would have just been better. He has Blood Razor though. He doesn't. He didn't go Warrior. Kind of curious, actually. Yeah, I mean, like, you have to... You literally have to respect me, Nocturne, when you, when you don't have the jump on me. Like when I have the jump on you, you just can't do anything. Their deeds shall be weighed on the scales of stars. Zyra rushed Morel and Omicron. How curious. Yeah, I mean, like, Nocturne just keeps sitting near mid. I don't know why. Like, he's just like, oh, I'm a, uh, I'm mid now. I do need to be careful because I don't have my ulti to get me out of jail free, but. Ha, <laughs> he was dead before he even dashed to me. I don't know if he thought he was going to get some kind of great burst when he dashed to me, but like... It, it, it didn't happen for you, buddy. Didn't exist. Saw this. We'll pick this up. Okay. Zyra got executed. Dead before Wukong even got there, but at least they'll get bot tower finally. 
I'm not I'm not sure if that was like an int or like if he thought he literally was gonna just be able to one shot me when he got on me, but it was weird. I think it was an int. I'm surprised I I hope that they don't surrender. Like I said, I wanna go deeper in this build. But I don't know. The way we're going, they actually just might. Because, I mean, I'm getting a split push for free. Sure, Nasus is too, but does that matter when I'm about to take an outer and, or an inner tower and he's only about to take an outer? Okay. Why? Are they coming mid lane? My is it makes no sense. There's a Morgana there too. I got the auto off, so... Nice. fine why are they like I don't get it that's probably towards top can't see a thing though this is risk I'm gonna get an assist from it too. Like, I'm really surprised they have not surrendered, to be honest. Normally, if you're beating someone this bad, they surrender. Oh, how rude. Why are all Morganas going Luden's Echo now? It, make, it makes no sense. Okay, I I do the damage apparently. I'm just like weaving in autos, like that's all I'm doing. I'm not really doing anything special. <laughs> Okay, Nocturne has to be ending at this point. Like, I don't think we win the game, but like... I'm not gonna stay. Kind of a little, a little tricky, or a little not worth staying. Oh, what else would I like? A hurricane wouldn't be bad. Actually, I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna actually go for the Storm Razor. Because they are a little, sp they are a little slippery. I bet it's their bot lane that's like not surrendering. They're like, no, wait, guys. Like, we didn't int, so we can win. We can do it. These guys aren't that good. Sounds like me sometimes when when I'm the only one not in team to be honest. My devotion is unbreakable. I think I was gonna say I think I just get Ward Gold. Yay. Wait.
I'm dead? Yeah. <laughs> Half a second from life. Rip. I was literally half a second from life. I was like, oh, maybe I can, maybe I can buy out the time needed for my ult, but nope. I'm gonna go split top. Like, they are literally just, like, they have the mentality of, let's just group forever and maybe if something goes right, we win. They did catch, um, Jinx. It's kind of one thing that they need to go right for them. That Caitlyn ult is up again. That thing has no cooldown. Free tower. I really hope he doesn't... Okay, fine. Oh my god, I failed my flash. Dude, I hate Nasus is wither. I really do. But, I mean, me keeping them busy allowed our team to get get dragon, so it's fine. I just hate Nasus wither. It's like, oh, he withers you? Can't do anything. I feel like a balance change for, for Nasus wither is like, if you just, um... Like, literally just remove the slow or, like, make the or the attack speed slow half. The light well, regardless, I have Baron, so that's cool. Because, like, literally, like, you get slowed and you can't move at all anyway, and then, like... You're just like, oh, well, I guess I just, I also don't move because, I also don't retaliate because wither. That was me kind of not respecting Nasus, to be honest. Oh, he's actually going to let me have it. Cool. Didn't expect that. Cool. I'm perma I'm perma exalted now. I'm gonna back up because like rest of my team's really kinda not there. And they're kinda close by, so back here I will take someone I'll take both of you actually <laughs> there's the surrender well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. We will see you guys later, and goodbye.